join us on our journey and meet a lot of startup founders and for that subscribe to the channel and also if you don't want to miss anything then click on the bell icon and never ever ever miss anything about high on startup welcome to high on startup and today we are with miss aditi now she has a startup vocabulary now what is this particular startup all about we need to know about it now it's a fancy crazy name and i think there's a brilliant story behind it what do you say aditi of course there's a very uh, interesting story behind it uh, it's something very close to my heart so um it's it's uh, it all started when i was 22 okay. and you know i was uh, working as a content person uh, with one of the toy manufacturing brands okay it's already uh, very creative sounds very really creative here so what happened was that i knew that you know content is going to go take um, take a turn okay you know because uh, it's the digital world and you know everything begins with content and then ends to and ends with content Very whether you talk about digital or you talk about print or anything so uh, that's how it started and i thought that you know while i was working i was building my startup side by side i was you know getting my website made and i was uh, getting the you know i was curating content i was also um building my team the panel of experts that i have right now on board who are my actually roots for the for vocabulary so i was doing that started doing that from, right from 22 and today i'm 24 and uh, i think it's been one and a half years that i've been running vocabulary wow. successfully and yeah so I, when it comes to logo so did you look at the logo yeah i, I did yeah so it it says vocabulary and we cut the you yes. ry and then put bet yeah. so it it actually uh, tells you that okay we correct you you know we correct your language yeah. we correct your words so uh, of course just like how grammarly is um, you know when you go on grammarly platform and you uh, look Look, I mean, whenever you make a mistake, it is always shown with a red. Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, with a red stripe, and then you correct with a green uh, correct form. Yeah. So similarly, we try to put in the same, um, uh, you know, context behind this for okay. that. Again, I think that's something we do like about it. That that's amazing. You you started from content, you stuck to your roots, and then you've been able to do it. And I think what's brilliant is that you were actually actually working, and you were working on side by side on your website when you got everything settled. And it's a very creative name. So I know the story, I know the name, I know the reasons behind it. Now I want to know what all has been uh, the best part about this journey that you've had. Uh, I think, uh, of course, the journey was a roller coaster, right? Uh, it's not very simple because you know I was it was bootstrap, no funding, nothing at all, and uh, you know I I did not hold, I did not come from a fancy institute or something that you know I would uh, have all the support of people to make up the money or something. But yes, I had a vision in my mind, and I was very sure that it's going to work well. I've always been very lucky in terms of you know getting what I wanted. my focus was always there uh, and uh, you know in terms of so while i was working i we i had put uh, vocabulary on pilot and we tried uh, testing it out if it works it doesn't work and it did work so we yeah. worked with some of the major brands like yatra cut off with it so very big names in the industry and uh, you know the love goes behind and uh, i see with whichever company i've worked with in the past whether it's hg media or it's you know i don't really want to take okay, it okay even when you were trying it out yeah. so what were the issues that you faced the challenges that were so the facing? challenges were uh, of course that uh, you know something is it's a b2c it's it's a online world yeah. you know we not really uh, getting because mine is a con- online content agency yeah, so yeah. the requirement comes online on the website so we don't really go to bd uh, and you know go meet a uh, uh, b2b player in the market like that you know, yeah, yeah it's all web oriented whoever well, looks at you first comes to you right yeah. and similarly the same thing happened that you know people were coming the companies were coming but they were there was a gap in between that of people you know were they sticking around with us was not with, on the basis of quality but also on the basis of their requirement okay. so they would come and go and then you know we were like limited with people in the uh, operations we were like three four people i started with my brother Uh, he's a uh, designer. And, okay. Uh, that was very important to me to have a designer on board. So that was uh, one. Set us yeah, half, set us half the half the yeah. So here, uh, the best thing was that um, you know there was support, but I didn't have many uh, people doing DD. So mm-hmm. it was all me. So I was the finance person. I was the HR. I was the marketing. The, the creative writer. The 
you know the creative developer i learned coding myself <laughs> and uh, even designing and all that so i think there was a lot of learning like the learning that a person generally learns in 4 5 years and all crunched into one and a half years so that was the uh, challenge and i think in any entrepreneur's life the challenge is Every day the challenge. So every day the new thing comes up, and you know you can't really sleep. You have to wake up in the morning. How did you how did you overcome these challenges when you had so much of workload? Right. So I think I I I uh, enjoy doing it. Uh, what I do, I think I love doing it. So uh, you know when you go to office, when you go to uh, co- when you're in the corporate world, you're doing it for your boss, you're doing it for the company. Here I know that I'm doing it all for my. That keeps you motivated. So I I nurtured vocabulary like a baby. So I know that you know uh, it's unconditional. <laughs> and what would you want to tell to the viewers about vocabulary specifically? I think about vocabulary. Um, um, so it's it's an amazing platform. We we do deliver quality work, and we have some really good writers, like right from uh, bloggers to fashion bloggers, to travel bloggers, people working on IoT, people working on artificial intelligence, and some great script writers who've been working on movie scripts. So I think it's a one-stop stop for um, any sort of uh, blogging need or content need. And of course, you know, initially I used to call it a uh, content writing form, but now it's not a content writing work uh, form anymore because we don't really uh, target only on written com- uh, content anymore. We also target on uh, graphics and oh, videos. Oh, amazing! So we do graphics and we do uh, explainer videos and all of that. Okay, so. What do you need to get high on when you have so much work to do, creativity, and you have to write it down, and you have to do business development, and so many other things? I think I don't need to um, get high on anything right now. I think I'm already high on vocabulary, already high on my startup. So I think. That's amazing, amazing. That sums it all today. Having a conversation with her is so productive. You know why? Because you get to know that when you have your own startup, it's like literally nurturing your own baby. And so what she said, we believe her, and we would take more inspiration from more founders yet to come. Meanwhile, keep subscribing. I can check a link to website is down below of a website. I know you don't want to miss that. Keep subscribing.